Hi guys, very welcome to this Houdini rigging tutorial series. My name is Sergey, and in this tutorial I will show you how to build the rig for this bunny. We will have two sequences. In the first sequence I will show you how to um, build the body rig. In the second one we create facial setup. Let's begin with skeleton creation. I prefer to begin with spine bones. We go to Ring tab, activate the bones tool, switch the placement to freehand. And now if we go to the uh, right viewport, we can now click with left mouse button and drag um, bones into the viewport. By pressing enter, this operation is finished now, but we, uh, we are still able to uh, take this little points here and just replace or adjust the position of already created uh, bones. If we switch now to the selection tool, it's not the case anymore. As you see here, um, each bone has the flat side here. This flatness describe, describes um, the X rotation X of each um, a bone. If uh, you uh, will look into the knot graph here, you will uh, notice that a couple knots also already created. Now it's time to just delete them and create the spine bones for this bunny. I'm switching to right viewport and activate bones tool and now we can just place three bones for um, for spine one bone for neck and one bone for head just press enter and now is the time for renaming this bones. We will write a little Python tool. This tool will help us to speed up this renaming process. Don't worry if you're not familiar with Python, just skip this part and rename those nodes manually. I already prepared the code. I will go um, through this code line by line and explain what I did. I imported the Who module and I create a function with two variables and default values. I will use these variables inside this function. I'm using selected nodes of who module. It returns the list of selected nodes from viewport selection or from node graph here. I enumerate these nodes inside of selected uh, nodes list and um, I'm saying if the index is zero, in this case we're talking about the first element here, because we will select them in a selection order. Um, please rename this node to bone name, in this case is spine, plus underscore root underscore one. If it's not the case, we will grab the element with index one. We're talking about this guy here. The name of this bone will be bone name. In this case is spine. Bone suffix in this case is underscore bone. And we add to, to this the string of this index. In this case, it will be underscore uh, bone underscore one. As you see here, I have another function for renaming the bones without root. And this is the same function, what we don't have here, the if statement, with, because we don't need, need it anymore. Okay, I have, I have here another two functions for renaming arm bones and leg bones. And I will explain them later. Let's now just select our bones and rename them 
with this tool. As you see here, at the end, I, I'm executing this first function and we will put first here a spine and this bone is fine. I'm just saving this and we just select, select the nodes one by one, holding shift. Um, as you see here, um, I'm not selecting these two guys because this bone is for neck and this bone is for head. And we press the supply button and you see everything is fine. I just put here neck, the bone underscore one, and we have head here, head, the same thing here, underscore one. Okay, now let's create the rest of the bones. I change to a right viewport. Oh, sorry, something, not left, right viewport. And now we will create four joints for, for the ear. And after creation, we will rename them with our Python tool. I grab my bone tool, uh, change placement to freehand and we create here four joints. I see a press enter and I see here I can adjust the position if I don't like it. Now it's fine. I go to selection tool and switch to my perspective view. As you see here we have the placement is not uh, correct. What I'm doing here, I'm just taking this chain root and with my transform node, just bring this chain root to the position that matches. And I'm just rotating this root also. As you see here, I have um, values here. You can uh, bring them to the pre-transform, but I, I will show you the trick here. We can just go back to bone and just click or move a bit this point here and you see here the Houdini automatically um, just remove this all uh, values here. Okay now it's time to um, rename this chain with our created Python tool. I select this guy one by one, go to Python source editor and we have to change something here. I like to have the prefix left for left side underscore ear And we can now just save it and press apply. As you see here, everything is renamed properly. Now let's create the rest. In this case, we are creating now the leg bones. Go to my right view. The same thing here. We need our bone tool, freehand, and I place the joint one here, one for knee, one for ankle, one for foot and toe. Press enter. And we switch to perspective view. Same thing here, change to um, selection mode, 
grab this root, activate transform, and bring it to the place. I will change maybe to, to the front view. You see, it's, it's fine. Now we can rotate, if you like, a bit. And you see, maybe um, I'll rotate also this guy here. So you can also go to the bones tool and rotate it here. Okay, that's fine. Maybe a bit more. Great. Now you see we have some values here and some values here. The same procedure. I'm in bone tool. Select this guy and just move a bit. Or maybe you can select this one. I already did. And the same thing for here. You see we just can just a bit. Just touching a bit. And now it's time to rename these guys. Let's open the um, Python source editor and look at the code renaming the leg bones. As you see here, I'm um, using the variable inside a function. This is a tuple with hard coded uh, names for, for the bones. And I'm checking how many elements are selected because here I have only four. And I'm raising error if, if it's not the case. I'm saying the number of selected nodes have to be, uh, sorry, four here. And I'm using um, the selected nodes function again and iterate through selected nodes and give them index. And with this index, I grab the elements out of this um, tuple. For example, if my index is zero, I'm saying just set the node name to side. In this case, it will be uh, left or L. Uh, plus the bone name with index zero. In this case, it will be this guy here. Okay, that's it. And now let's just um, um, just call this function. I already did it here. I comment this old function out and I'm calling now this function. Just save. Now we have to select. Mm, actually, what we can do also, I will give the name of a root also here. I just put maybe, um, because we have, um, as you see here, we, we have also the root that we have to rename. And I put here, the name underscore um, a leg underscore root underscore one. Okay, now we have to change it because we have now five elements. I've changed it to five and I change this guy also to five. We just save it and now we will select these guys one by one, holding shift. And I press this apply button. And you see, we have um, successfully renamed this um, lake bones. Okay, now it's time for arm setup. We will use the top view for creating these bones. I just take this bone tool, freehand, activate it. I need a clavicle joint or bone. Here the one bone for shoulder. Um, actually, I just press enter and delete these guys. I press um, W 
to go to uh, the wireframe mode. It helps me to place the joints or bones um, to the right places here. Activate the bone tool and we need one bone for clavicle, shoulder, shoulder, elbow. Now we have something um, here. I think it will be a, a wrist and yeah, I press enter. We switch to perspective view. And now you see we have the same problem here. We just go to selection mode, just grab this null, activate the transform tool and just bring this guy up. And I like to um, switch to front view. And the same thing here, I just bring a bit up this whole setup here, maybe um, I, I rotate a bit to match. And we will translate a bit down. As you see here, I don't like the position of this shoulder joint and I activate my bone tool, select and just put it back a bit about here and also I just take this guy and bring it a bit down or a bit up I think down is better and bring it a bit to the side now as you see if I press W again we have the, these joints and you see it's um, I like to bring it a bit back and we have now the um, arm bones the same thing here you see we have um, now we don't have any because I already just play with these guys and you see the Houdini automatically clean up all translations and rotations here one thing to do here is also create um, the finger, the fingers. And I will use for, for the finger another um, orthographic view and uh, front view. And you see here we activate, we just disactivate first this tool and activate it again. And um, uh, what you can do actually you can just pick this um, joint if you have to like to continue here you can pick this joint with um, shift button pressed and continue i press w and maybe i i need maybe two fingers uh, here and here because it's cartoony setup here I press enter and you see we we have no um, root um, null anymore as you see here if I switch to my perspective view and press the orientation press uh, W again the orientation of these joints are different Okay, perfect. Let's now rename this joint chain. And I will open again my Python source editor. And we'll look at the code here. This is the same code I'm using in uh, forearm setup. I will just change something here because we don't need or we, we um, don't have this leg root or in this case arm root arm root and you see here one two three four five I change this to five also 
And this is the same setup here that I'm just copy and paste it for, uh, for ARM. We just save it. And now it's time to select this, guys. I will select everything except of these two bones because they are four finger setup. And I'm going one by one with um, holding the shift button. And we have to change this leg to arm and press the supply button. As you see here, we successfully rename this all bones. And these guys now we can use this function with no root. I just copy and paste it. I comment this function out and you see here, sorry, we put here the left finger, finger, press save and now I, cre uh, I select this guy and this guy and press apply. I uh, sometimes think this arrow here. I just look ah left finger. Ah sorry I forgot to to get rid of this definition here. Now apply and you see we have bone zero and bone one. Uh, Maybe it will be good to rename them to, I just go to one and two. I just go back with my control um, Z and we will change a bit our code. And as you see here, this with no root I just put here plus one. Save it. And now we just press the supply and you see we have finger bone one, finger bone two. Of course you can mural the bones for the right side, but I prefer to do it after the whole IKF key setup is finished. Um, that's it for this tutorial. In the next one, we will uh, look at the forward kinematic uh, controller setup. Uh, if you like this video, just leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have a question, just let me know. And I will see you next Monday. Bye.